Right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of The Palermo Problem. Uh, last episode, my friends, you will find that above right now. Make sure you go check that out, go get caught up. Um, and uh, yeah, once you've done that, then you can crack on with today's episode um another game in the europa league another game in syria that is what we're going to crack on with today my friends uh, i do just want to bring to your attention as well an update went up on the channel yesterday uh, do go and check that out uh, my friends it's basically going to let you know the future of the channel uh, potentially for the next um you know few months uh what with everything going on in my personal life it's easier if you go and watch that video uh, to get up to date and find out exactly what's happening with the channel than it is for me to talk about it right now because I'd be here all day. But my friends, we're going to get in to some Football Manager and some Palermo Problem. So let's do it. Join me. Let's get going. So first up, we need to take a look at the fixture screen and uh, get caught up with the games that I played between our last episode and uh, this one. Now, if you decided to just play this video on, not get caught up on the last one, uh, you're going to see that uh, it was a pretty poor uh, episode last time out a couple of 2-0 defeats uh, in the uh, Europa League and the league and uh, it made it three losses on the bounce and uh, we really needed to turn it around and to some extent I really do feel like we did uh, a nil nil draw against Torino wasn't the worst of results but it did mean uh, no win in four games and uh, a couple of poor performances in that one but Torino are going very well in the league so it was a really good result uh, we then came up against Dundalk in the Europa League uh, and a 2-1 victory um, uh, for, for your boy and uh, yeah basically it was a real heavily rotated team this one uh, I wanted to try and keep the players fit um, because I really felt like we needed to just get back to winning ways uh, in the league uh, but yeah the boys come in did a really good job even Alberto Cristiano came in off the bench and uh, scored the winning goal uh, so yeah lovely job uh, by the boys uh, Felipe uh, Cruz was the man with the other we then returned to Serie A action against Hellas uh, Verona and we got ourselves uh, another 2-1 victory. You're going to see uh, Filippo Ranocchia and uh, Alan Virginius with the goals in the game. Uh, we were 1-0 up, then it was 1-1, uh, but Virginius, the man of the moment, uh, steps up and scores the winning goal for us. We then came up against Lazio and got ourselves an excellent 2-1 victory. Lazio are a very, very good team. Been going very well this season, uh, but Yuri uh, Nemec, Back on the score sheet was nice to see. And uh, Leonardo Buta with a 90th minute winner. Uh, Duvan Zapata had put Lazio 1-0 in the lead. We then came up against Napoli, uh, a rival of ours. They've been going very, very well in the league this season. And we managed to snatch a point. Uh, they went 1-0 to the good through Eddie and Ketia. But uh, Nuno Meyer with the equaliser. They had a man sent off. We couldn't make the most of it. But I was pretty happy when all was said and done uh, at the end of the game with the win. And that brings us up to date, my friends. And we are be playing Dundalk in the uh, Europa League group stages. Should everything go our way, we will qualify for the knockout rounds uh, with a win. So just keep everything crossed. Note that happens. Then we're going to come up uh, against Genoa um, after this one in the league away from home. We'll take a quick look at the league table. So you can see that we are third in the table. 12 games played, 7 wins, 3 draws, 2 losses. Uh, decent enough goal difference, 24 points on the board. We're already 10 points off of Inter Milan, who are flying in first position this season. 11 wins and one draw. Absolute joke. Um, some real surprises this season, it has to be said. Um, definitely are Juventus, Napoli uh, and AC Milan. All really, really off the pace. Um, you know, Juventus all the way down in 11th place. with Only 18 points on the board. They went through so much dominance in the division. Uh, but now find themselves there. Uh, and it does look to me as though Roma have an unbelievable strike force this year. Uh, th these guys already have 17 goals between them and we're only 12 games into the season incredible stuff but let's crack on ladies and gents with our first game of today's episode and it is a paloma at home against uh dunna dolk and uh it's a rotated team to some extent. Um, I, I, I have to do this. I've got to keep them fit. And that, this is one of the reasons why we went in, the way we did in the transfer window. But yeah, I've got to keep players fit uh, for the league games. Um, I believe we might have a couple of uh, injuries. Uh, Harambasic uh, is out for up to four weeks at the moment, which isn't ideal. And uh, Buta is not playing well out on that left wing. So um, yeah, it's a bit, bit of a worry at the moment. But uh, we are going to go with Gasparini and goal, Akadi and Terzic at uh, fullback, Hassan Guzzi going to play centre-back together, Anokia Skandroglio going to play 
centre mid. Uh, Bogdan and Lacero on the wings. Uh, Lacero is going to play as an inside winger on this one. Uh, sorry, an inverted winger. And uh, Maya's going to play Cam. Gilmuden is going to come in to play up top. And so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the teams line up. And uh, yeah, we just want to win basically from this one. Get the victory, get the three points. Hope that Sevilla beat Red Star through to the knockout stages. Right, Terzic on the ball. Back to Gozzi now into Lucera, into Maya. Beautiful, going to spread the play out here to Bogner. He goes past his man, goal! Gelmuden shot, saved by the keeper, behind for a corner. Uh, we'll stick with it just in case. I doubt anything's going to come from this, but Scandroglio with the ball into the box. It's headed and it's straight down the throat of the keeper. All right, 20 minutes into this first half, and it is still nil-nil. Dundalk very, very stubborn at the back in this one. Uh, we've had chances, haven't managed to break the deadlock. Okay, Gozzi with the free kick, goes wide to Terzic. I have gone attacking for the last sort of 10 minutes of this first half to try and break the deadlock as Lacero comes forward. Good shot, but it's saved by the keeper. Right, Maya back to Scandroglio. Goes wide to Lacero. Nice stuff, but uh, he's going to come inside. Nice into Bogner. He's going to have a bit of space here. It's Bogner and his shot is awful. Hassan is going to pick this ball up. Oh, I don't know what he was trying to do there, but we do still have the ball with Icardi. Going to go all the way back to the goalkeeper. I'm not too fussed with that. He's just looking after the football. Inside to Scandroglio. Now to Lacera, who's going to come inside. This is the thing when you play with an inverted, uh, you know, winger. That is just kind of the way it happens. They're always going to cut inside on their stronger foot. Uh, Gasparini now. He's going to play that out to Scandroglio. Nice ball out wide here to Icardi. The winger really should have gone, but Bogdan decided not to. If he'd have had the man there, it would have really helped matters. Ranocchio goes back to Hassan. Ball over the top. Gilmuden wins. And my oh! Gilmuden's volley wide at the post. Haven't got our shooting boots on. Right, this does continue as Dundalk now. Are they going to fashion a chance? And it wouldn't surprise me if Dundalk's first shot on target ended up in the back of the net because that's just kind of the way this season has begun for us. But we have got the ball back. Scandroglio is going to come inside to Ranocchia, spreading that wide into Bogner. Akadi now back to Hassan, into Maya. Lovely first time passing from the boys. Scandroglio slowed it down a little bit too much for my liking, but still got the ball. Akadi into Bogner. Where's he going to go? Dances past one. Dances past two. The ball doesn't come into the box the way we wanted it to, though. Bogner won it back. Still got it. A lot of pressure being applied. Turgic now coming forward. Ball in. Gelmuden. Bogner! Get in there. 1-0. It's been coming, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of pressure being applied towards the end of this first half. 1-0. Okay, pretty happy with that first half. Absolute domination. The fact we've only scored one goal, though, is a small concern but uh hopefully second half we can grab ourselves another one make it nice and uh yeah knockout stages here we come literally nothing's happened in the second half uh Gelmuden is going to make way not had a good game and we're going to bring uh Cristiano uh on for him um and I think um no I'm going to leave I'm going to leave everyone else out there might might bring Scandroglio off uh, later stage, but for now, it's the only change I'm going to make. Right, we've got a throw in. I am just going to go to balance just to try and conserve some energy uh, in the team as Akadi is on the ball. Comes into Bogner now. He's going to try and go past his man. He does go past his man. The ball in. Lacera! What a beautiful header from Lacera! Back across goal in uh, off that post. 2 0. Game over. Right, we're going to make some changes. Uh, now the game is done and dusted. Uh, I think we can afford to. Asadi is uh, going to come on for uh, Scan Droglio. We're going to go to ball winner midfielder for Asadi. You will see this isn't very good. He's a defensive midfielder uh, by trade, but we're trying to turn him into a centre mid. Um, and I think the other one is Alan Maginius is going to come on and uh, we're going to bring him on for Lucera. Um, he's not too good. Neither of them are really too good at the inverted winger, but uh, he's just going to have to do it. Don't have a left winger on the bench. OK, so four minutes of injury time uh, to be added here in this one, ladies and gents. But uh, that's going to be it. We've won this game. Sevilla have hammered Red Star by three goals to nil as well. So... Both teams are going to be booking their place in the next round. Easy, easy stuff. And now, ladies and gents, it's time to move back to league action. And, uh, yeah, big game this one. Genoa, uh, away from home. They've just come off the back. I've beaten Roma in Syria. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to be an easy fixture, especially with away. Um, 
the games have been going for us in the league. But uh, we are going to go with Gasparini in goal, uh, Cruz, Ranieri at fullback, Harwood, Bellis, and Gozzi uh, uh, centre back. Faguli, Scandrogli are going to play midfield together, Virginius, Abuta on the wings, Alano through the middle, and Yuri Nemec up top. Let's hope that he can score another goal for us in this one. Five goals already this season. So here we go, ladies and gents. The boys walk out on to the pitch, and um, yeah, I'm just hoping for a win in this one. Really, really need to get the Serie A season lit up again the way we did right at the beginning. Okay, Gasparini. I was about to get on the players back because we played 12 minutes almost and uh, not had a shot yet. But, boys, on the ball. Buta back to Scan Droglio. He's going to come inside to Alano. Lovely ball from him, but unfortunately... Uh just far too direct and uh, when you play one up top balls like that are never going to work and they come down the wing and that's a good piece of play and I think that's it the outside of the post phenomenal effort well we've got a throw in here we just have not got going in this game we really really haven't uh What's that, 27 minutes of football? We've only registered two shots. I've had to go attacking to really try and get anything out of the football team. But Alano, he does spread that wide to Virginius, whose shot is going to sail wide. It's just not good enough. Right, it's half time, and I am not happy. We have been awful, really bad in this game. I'm getting on their back. Uh, we're going to have to bring Scandroglio off for uh, Matazzo. And uh, I think we're going to go on support centre mid with him. We'll take Faguli bit into the deep lion role. And, uh, and yeah, Nemec really needs to kick up the arse. He's going to have to get going um, in this half of football. It's been so poor. All right, throw in to Genoa. Uh, if anyone's going to win this game, it's probably going to be them at the moment. Well cleared out, though, by us. Matazzo did win the ball. And we just give it away. Unbelievable. He had so much time, so much space to just look after the football. But we have forced them back to their keeper. It's good distribution, though, from him. And they've still got the football. And uh, they're playing really well, our Genoa. At the minute, he cruises through. But the shot is bad. Just as shit as ours. Right, it's time for changes um, because we've been bad. And uh, yeah, I don't know really, really what more to say. Uh, Nemec is going to come off and uh, I think Gomudin's going to be the man to come on for him. Um, yeah, neither, neither wingers. Really. Do you know what? Alano's going to be the one, I think, to make way. I could bring the wingers off, but what's the point? Um, I'm going to go on attack with Buta and uh, hope that both these guys can get up there to support because we're just we're just not playing well. All right, Gilmuden is closing this ball down. Nothing comes of it, though. Really good move from Genoa as they come forward again. Uh, spreading it wide. Oh, we've given away a penalty. It's just one of those days. It's just one of those days at the office where our shooting boots are not there. We're not creating chances. And they go and put it in the bottom corner. 1-0 Genoa. We're losing this game. We don't look like we're going to score in a month of Sundays. I'm going to have to change this tactically. I'm going to have to do something because we're awful at the minute. Um, I think I'm going to push Meyer up with Gelmuden. Uh, we'll turn him into a pressing forward on attack. I think for Gooley, we're going to push up into the attacking midfield option. And uh, we're going to have to play Matazo as sort of like an automatic player. Um, we'll go wing back both sides. I'm probably really opening us up now, but have no choice. Really got to go for this. Um, I think we're going to actually go slightly more direct. Try and get the ball up there to the strikers. Um, and just go from here, really. There is a free kick to Genoa just before this is going to happen, though. And it's gone in. Unbelievable. What it was the point of me even making those changes? Corner for Goody with it. It was a good corner. Nothing comes of it, though. Faguli's going to get another chance. Nothing comes of that. They're going to clear the ball out. And Chinoa are going to go and score again, aren't they? We have been awful in the league. We really, really have. Since the first three games of the season, we just have not looked convincing. We've not looked consistent at all in the league. And, uh, you know, it's hurting us big time. You know, I just want to, I want to do similar to what we did last season. But at the moment, we look off the pace. We don't look like we're really ready to compete. Uh, this season in the division. Good against the big teams, crap against the small teams. And Genoa nearly made it 3-0. Good save from Gasparini, keeping us in it. All right, 
we ain't going to do anything. 13 minutes to save the game, but we have looked so crap. As Buta comes flying forward, it's a good shot, saved, tipped over the bar. All the way back to the goalkeeper. Oh, dearie, dearie me. How poor are Palermo in the league at the minute. Just can't get going. Felipe Cruz, though, is going to come forward. And he's found his man and Nuno Meyer has put it in the bottom corner and has actually given us a glimmer of hope when really we don't deserve to have a glimmer of hope. Into injury time, it's going to be a defeat. And uh, this is a bad one. We're losing against teams like Genoa who have been struggling this season. Our season is a worry. Okay, so a bit of a mixed bag. Um, into the knockout round of the Europa. We can't get the job done in Serie A against a team we should be beating. But... That's life. That's 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 just how the cookie crumbles. And it's not going to get any easier. Some big teams in this division. But uh, we need to talk about where we're going to pick this up next. And, uh, you know, we don't need to play any more of the Europa League group stage games uh, now because we're through to the next round. So don't really need to bring you the next uh, two fixtures in the group stages. Um, so I think what I'm actually going to do is bring it back... Um, so Roma, Red Star, Sassuolo, Juventus, Sevilla, Brescia. That's six games. I'll bring it back next time for the third round of the Cup against Atalanta and the Serie A game against Milan. And a, a team that's struggling, actually, this season in the league. I've got some hard fixtures in there that I'm going to have to try and navigate. But... Um, yeah, it is what it is. Second season was always going to be harder in Serie A than the first. It is always the case because people kind of learn how you play. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? And, uh, you know, we're not a powerhouse. We don't have the money to buy world-class players. We're having to get by by bringing youngsters in that could grow to potentially be world class so it is just the way it is uh, as far as the table is concerned we have dropped down a position because of that defeat uh, this is what I was saying you know we're down in 11th really we should be beating teams like that but yeah very disappointing performance from the boys Inter actually lost their first game it would have been a chance for us to close the gap but instead uh, we bollocked it up but uh, I guess what I should do as well is show you this uh, that's the that's the uh, group stages of the Europa just confirmation that we have qualified we could still qualify top if we beat Sevilla, but it would come down to goal difference, and I don't see us catching that, which is one of the reasons why I don't think I really need to bring you any more games where that competition is concerned. So there you are, my friends. We're done and dusted for another episode of the Palermo Problem. Not really the most ideal of episodes. Yes, we're through to the knockout rounds of the Europa League, but, you know, making ourselves a very stable sort of top 10 team in the league is what we need to be doing. And with defeats against the likes of Genoa, we're never going to do that. OK, we're sitting in fourth. It's early doors, but I am concerned about the form in the league and I might have to take, uh, you know, start taking a look at the tactics but my friends i am done and dusted for this episode if you're new please consider hitting that subscribe button drop a like on it if you've enjoyed it and hit the bell notification button do never miss an episode but until next time my friends you've all been legends and i will see you real real soon